<laughs> um, and uh, the first few board meetings are sort of like a, an exercise in like paranoia and insecurity. Yeah. Because you know, you're like, they're like, well, what's the contribution margin on this? And I'm like, well, I don't know what contribution is. I kind of know what margin is. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> So you just have to, you know, there's, there's a little bit, I mean, the, the learning curve, I guess, is, is, is yeah. really high in the, in the early days. So, I mean, I'd, I'd say my first board meeting, I, and I was not 24, I mean, I was 36, and I've been around startups a long time, but I still was like, do you call it to order? Do you bang a gavel? What do I do? <laughs> like, I really had, so, I mean, for anyone, we always have a lot of first-time entrepreneurs or people start thinking about starting companies, like, what is your advice for, like, running a board meeting, for that first board meeting? Do you go in and just be like, I don't know anything, guys? Do you fake it? What, do you, what, did, what did you do and was it the right thing to do? For us, we, we took it pretty seriously. Um, and so we put together like a, a, you know, a pretty reasonable presentation. I mean, it wasn't like super polished. Um, you know, you're not there to be like the world's best. Like your, your, your job is not like Mr. PowerPoint. It's like you're trying right. to build something. You've sold them ostensibly yeah, if they're so, there. I think you need to strike a balance, right? On the one hand, you can be like, look, they're there to help you build the company, um, and all that's true, and you should just be pretty straight. Um, and, and, well, you should certainly be straight with them. Um, but I think our goal in the early days was to sort of establish a track record that, you know, we knew what we were doing. We, if we said we were going to do something, you know, chances were good that we would actually do it. Mm -hmm. um, and and then get input on things that we were wondering about. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you don't want something where it's like, God, I don't know what I'm doing, tell me how to run the company, because like, that's <laughs> not their job. Mm -hmm. like, if your VCs are running your company, like, you're doing it wrong. Um, and, and, and so we, we try to have that balance between trying to get, like, you don't, if they ask you a question you don't know, you can be like, look, you know, I can get back to you on that. Um, you want to be careful not to go too far that's, or to the formal side, like, they're not your parents. They're not babysitting you. This isn't like not, um, like you shouldn't be ashamed if you don't know all the answers. Um, these things are there to help you and make the company successful, so remember that. Mm -hmm. um, but you also, I mean, there's, there's an element of, I mean, one of the best things about board meetings, or I, think, or I think about board meetings and that kind of accountability compared to my first startup, mm -hmm. um, it's this huge difference, because like you sort of, it's very easy if you're starting a company and you don't have a board or you don't have, you, you might have some outside investors, but they're not very involved. You just kind of meander along. And you always have stuff to do. You're always like, they're active. Right. You're always making progress. Like you wake up and, you know, when you go to sleep, there's something that's better that you did. But you don't have, uh, it's very hard to kind of have an excuse. Ooh. Um, You don't, you don't think about, like, um... I think there's, yeah, I think there's an extra chair yeah, good. around here. If someone could yeah. pass a chair. You I'm so on, glad that was not pillow. me. That would have made me feel horrible in my pregnant state <laughs> <laughs> that happened. Um, but anyway, the good, the good thing about it is, it, and part of the role for you as, like, CEO or the founder is to be like, all right, this is the time we're going to stop what we're doing and think about like where are we mm -hmm. and where are we going to be in the next like three months or next month or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and then next month you look and you're like, are we there? Like based on all of our best like ideas of w how the future would look, mm -hmm. here's what we said and here's where we are. And like that delta is always interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was very valuable to make sure that we were, you know, if something was, if there's a pattern of something going wrong, it forces you to stop. You're like, all right, there's some, this yeah. is not like working. Like, what, what should we, we should do something about it. Yeah, I mean, I, to me, what's really good about, valuable about board meetings is like the three day panic that I have before each of them. Yeah. When I suddenly realize, when you suddenly realize, like you're, like, you're the CEO and you're the founder and you're the boss, and then all of a sudden you realize you have a board meeting in three days, and like you feel like the kid like cramming for a college exam, or at least yeah. that's me. And it's like, yeah, yeah. you just start looking through and you're like, feverishly looking through all your numbers because you're like, they will find whatever the weakness is. And it's like, there's no hiding it. And it's like, I always do so much paranoid prep work going in that I wind up being very prepared for the board meeting. But it's like that paranoia is actually probably more, or at least as valuable as the meeting itself. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah absolutely. I mean, 
it really forces you to learn all this, like really know your business. Um, and so, I mean, some people have like really informal board meetings or it's just sort of like you, you go to dinner and you sort of talk about stuff. But I think that process of, um, especially in the early days of really having to be on top of everything is mm -hmm. really, it was really helpful to us. Mm -hmm.